Oh, we got a good one on Pac-12 Network, a top 25 team, ASU on the road. Yes, UCLA, of course, our Pac-12 Network crew will be there. Kick off 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, Yogi Roth, you will, you are officially part of the ASU broadcast team? Fifth time you've seen them now in person? You, you, I think so. I mean, Herm and I, we just have <laughs> conference calls every week now, it's, it seems like. I, I would think that the conference call length time has now shrunk in just a touch. It will be. This week will be about 10, 15 minutes. All right, you saw them last week against Utah. They struggled on the offensive end. What's that one key ingredient that you can't wait to see on the football field against the UCLA team that Let's face it, been up and down this year. It's really just confidence. You know, Herm Edwards talked to us last week about heading into that game, right? He's a top 20 tilt on the Pac-12 Network. His whole nation was watching, and it was awesome. And he said, we can't be emotional. We have to be passionate. And I think you saw them at times, specifically one drive on defense, where they became too emotional. All of a sudden, a bunch of penalties. Offensively, you can get frustrated when Jane Daniels goes 4 of 18. So yeah. that's what I want to watch. I had a chance to talk to Jane Daniels a few moments ago about this game, coming home to L.A., and just kind of putting to bed the game against Utah. And he's got a great maturity about him. So that's what I want to watch. The whole team, they're really young. You know how it is. A bunch of guys from L.A. coming home. Yeah. Can they just handle it? All right. Is it going to be chippy? Can they just settle back into the ASU that we've come to learn and love under Herm Edwards? All right, I mentioned the up-and-down season that UCLA has had. It has been inconsistent. How do you find some sort of consistency in a game against a team that, let's face it, ASU has schemed their way in a lot of wins so far this season? Well, what's going to be interesting about UCLA is think about how fresh they're going to be. You, you know, you just referenced the Utah game. That's ASU right. got beat up in that. Yeah. UCLA, it, it'll be about 20 days where they've only played one game. Obviously, ASU has had games back-to-back -back weekends, so I think they'll be really fresh. They want to run the football, and just like last year, this may be the turn. You know, last year, you look at the last eight games, they were thriving on offense. This might be that thing for them. You look at DTR, Dwayne Thompson-Robinson, sure. as comfortable as he's been all season long in the pocket was against Stanford. So it wasn't just about Jack West playing for Stanford. But I thought offensively, the O-line is solidified, even though they're playing a couple young guys. Joshua Kelly got going again. Yeah. They settled into their three receivers. They like their tight ends. So I love this game, Mike. I think this is going to be one of the better football games this weekend in the Pac-12. And you'll be able to watch it on Pac-12 Network. Our on-the-road crew will be in Pasadena at the Rose Bowl all day long. Super excited for it. We will see you at the start of the day at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time on Pac-12 Network.